Hi fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see how is it that you come across to other people. So what is, um, you know, what are people's first impressions about you? What kind of energy or aura do you give off? Um, give off um, just what do people first notice about you? It is going to be a general reading guys, please keep that in mind if you're after a personal tarot reading. Please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below the video. Okay, so we've got a fair bit of fire energy here. You are a spark. You're very, you know, you're a spark that burns brightly. You have this, you have this energy about you. It's bold, it's creative, it's inspiring, it's brash, it's You've also got a temp, you know, a temper that runs hot at times. You come across as you come across as very spontaneous, very adventurous. When you step into the room, people can pick up your good vibes. They can pick up your energy. You're very creative. You're um, you like to mix things up. You do. You're someone who's very inspiring. You're someone who's very passionate. You're someone who is, you know, not all fire signs are created equal, but you do give this energy where you're, as soon as you step into the room, it's like you're this spark. You're the, you know, you light up the room. You're passionate. You're impatient. You're idealistic. You're inventive. You're adventurous. You're spontaneous. You're spontaneous. You create and you also destroy. You're that kind of energy. Um, you're not... You can be. okay. You can also be very in touch with your emotional intensities. They do reside within you. It's deep within you, but you can be very in touch with these. There's also this energy of, you know, manifestation where you like to act before you speak. You're someone who faces situations and challenges head on. So you can be very brave. You can be very courageous in that sense. Um, you're great. You're, you're quite competitive and people know that, you know, whatever you set your eyes on, you set your eyes on the prize and they know that you're going to be successful in getting that. Um, you're, you're a very, you know, you like to jump into things and you like to take action. Will it work out? Won't it work out? Well, I guess you'll find out, right? You're just that kind of energy where you like to risk you like to risk, you like to take risks, and you're not afraid to do it, even if it means it doesn't necessarily work out. Sooner or later, you'll find out, right? Something will eventually click. Um, it, it comes to relationships, as, it comes down to relationships as well, where you sort of, you know, you like to give people a go, even if it's not your usual type, you just feel like, if you want something, or if you want to try something, you sort of go for it. Whether or not it works out or not, you don't try to worry yourself with too much about that. You're, you're definitely very open. You're an open book. You're a very open energy. Um, people get on with you very well. People gravitate towards you because you've got this warmth and you know passionate and very vibrant kind of energy. Um, you can be also very determined, very competitive, very determined, very... Um, you know, desirous, very wanting to succeed, wanting to succeed, wanting to grow. You're not afraid of hard work. You're not afraid of hard work or you're not afraid of, you know, being the best or doing the best to you. Um, you can be self-indulgent. You are someone who, you know, 
you like receiving gifts or you like changing things up you're someone who is you know you like stepping into new territory you like trying new things sometimes you do come across as a little bit reckless as a little bit impulsive or even a bit brash but i feel like people that know you and even that knows that even those that don't know you very well know that you just have this ability about you just to go for it you are very attractive you're very good looking but it's also this energy where you're just fun and personable and sociable and bright and bubbly and inspiring and you know people like being around you you do have a feisty side to you i mean you are ruled by the element of fire so you know you've got that feistiness you've got that you know you can be prone to temper tantrums you can be impatient by nature um, you can be sometimes who's impulsive okay you don't always like to reflect on things um, and sometimes you can just race towards a person or towards an opportunity even if it isn't always the best one you know think of fire fire is literally hot it's entrancing it's hot it's also destructive so you're not someone to you know, you're not apologetic about the person that you are. You're bold, you're brash, you're daring, you're very out there. Um, you can also be a little bit fickle. Sometimes people see you as a little bit... It's not that you don't give off a, you know, a, a stable vibe. It's just that people feel like in the middle of a project, you can just abandon it if it gets a little bit boring. You know, if, um, if that fire is not contained, it can leap elsewhere. you get along with you do get along especially with other fire signs you get along with other fire signs especially friends families or lovers very well you just seem to get each other you just seem to know what you know each other is about you're very charming though chances are a lot of the times that you do charm people you like to take charge and you like to and you know you charm people with that energy or you charm people with you know the words that you say you can come across as a little bit impulsive, even a little bit childlike, only because, uh, you know, you, you just sort of go for it. It's this energy where you don't really reflect, um, you just go for things. You can be very stubborn as well, because you're um, someone who, you know, once you make up your mind and you want to do something, like, doesn't matter how reckless or doesn't matter how impulsive, you know, you may seem to others, you just sort of want to go for it. You can be at times, you know, friends or family members can maybe perceive you to be a little bit selfish. You know, you are a fire energy and you like the spotlight and um, you just love always being surrounded by family, by friends, by people that you love. You are a fear fearless fighter though, you are. You're someone who won't hesitate to stand up for yourself, to stand up for the people that you love. You've got this live and let live kind of attitude, kind of mentality. Um, you're also extremely adventurous and just a teeny tiny bit flaky here and there. Or at the very least, that's how you come across to certain people. Um, you're like a little, you know, you know what you're like? You're like a little... You're like, I opened up the reading by saying you're a bright spark. Uh, you know those little spark, sparklers that you light up and they're just instantly set aflame? That's what you're like. You know, you just instantly fire up a room. You're just very fiery. Um, you can be passionate, dynamic. Um, and fire is a funny thing. It can keep you warm, right? But it can also be very destructive. So I feel like you've got this, you know these two different I guess these two different facets to you right you you know if you light a fire in your fireplace it's going to keep you warm but if it goes unchecked well it can also burn and you know burn the house down and destroy it so it's just you know it's like you can be great loving loyal friends and people know that about you but people also know that they don't want to cross you because if they do They'll see that side of you which can be a little bit destructive. You've got a power about you. You're, you know, and people are drawn to people, especially those that can keep up with your energy levels, they're drawn to you. In particular, air signs, I find that you guys kind of gravitate towards one another um, because 
earth signs are more of a slow moving earth energy as a water more of a slow moving sign well you know fire can burn out very quickly with that fuel enough fuel to keep it going you're very energetic you're very driven um some of you i feel like you take on too much sometimes you over commit or you over schedule yourself and sometimes just to keep up with your own energy levels you have to drink or you know drink way too much coffee here um you're all you always you can be very susceptible to burn to burning out okay because i feel like you always want to do too much or you always want to take on too much you don't have to do everything all the time here's the thing you don't um your energy can be a little bit frenetic at times because sometimes you're starting a million things. Sometimes, you know, you just need to slow down. There is, I feel like for some of you, I'm seeing that there's this You, you kind of need to watch out sometimes because you've got this attitude where it's like my way or the highway kind of attitude. But compromise, you know, there needs to be compromise where compromise is due. You come across as someone very confident, let me tell you that. You come across as someone very bold, very daring, um, very attractive. But I think your energy is also very attractive. Like people are drawn to you because you're so direct and you're so straightforward and you're such a risk taker. And, you know, you can be so bold in your ways. Um you can be quite traditional but i see you being quite adventurous as well at the same time you do you have this real propensity for travel for adventure um and all things excitement you make a great team player you do because you're someone who likes to spur other people into action like you're very motivating you're very inspiring you know um you certainly make a great team player um and I see that your energy like manifests itself through adventure because you've got a lot of energy. So, you know, finding um, different outlets or even creative outlets to sort of channel through that energy really works well. People people know you like to learn new things. They really like to try new things. People know you can be a bit restless. And sometimes you do bite a little bit more than, you know, you bite off more than you can chew. Like, admit it. But so sometimes it might pay well for you to know your limits. You can also come across as a little bit flighty, just saying. A little bit flighty, a little bit flaky at times. I think that comes down to your, you know, the fact that you sometimes overcommit and overextend yourself. And it's like, okay, and then you end up kind of flaking out on someone or something in that regard. But, you know, you're definitely this energy of manifestation. You're this ball of energy and people know that, you know, it's like you've got these, as we spoke about, these there's this two sides to the fire you know it can keep you warm it can keep you know the fireplace going but at the same time it goes unchecked it can also burn down the house so it's like you you, you can be very you can be quite very passionate but it can also translate to feistiness at times but people know to come to you to get the job done people know that you know um or to, to at least get the job started because let's face it you can sometimes abandon projects in the middle of it you know if, if if it's a little boring if it's a little tedious okay guys and these are your messages thank you for watching and for listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing bye